All right, we're getting ready to go to the gym. This is my current pre-workout that I have been using, this Fury Next Generation pre-workout cotton candy. I bought it at my gym. I will say they overcharge <laughs> so much, but I really love it. I love the taste. It doesn't taste too like artificial cotton candy. Like I love cotton candy and this tastes like pretty good. So, and it does the job. All right, but I figured I would do like a day in my life of a teacher on summer break. Um, maybe a couple days, I don't know, depends on what I vlog today. But it is currently nine o'clock. Usually I like to get up a little bit earlier for the gym, just so like I don't go when there's a lot of people. Like I like to go a little bit earlier. Like I usually like to be there by nine, but as we can see, I'm still home. Uh, but I was out late last night and didn't feel like setting an alarm for earlier. So here we are. Gonna take my pre-workout. Some things on the agenda for today. I have a psychiatry appointment, which I am so excited about. We can talk more about that later because if I talk about it right now, I'm not gonna get to the gym until 10. <laughs> um, and then I need to go to a few stores and I think they're in that area of where my appointment is. I think. I need to go to like one of those plant nurseries um, and I need to get mosquito bits or mosquito bite. No, I think they call mosquito bits. Like they help keep the gnats away. So yeah, that's on the agenda for today. I will try to record some of my workout today. I'm not gonna take my camera with me because they don't even allow tripods. So I don't even know where I put the camera. <laughs> um, but I will try to film a little bit on my phone. Today is leg day, right? Shea Wednesday. Yeah, today's my second leg day of the week. I always do two leg days, two upper bodies, but the second day of each are also like um, core focused. So there's a lot more core workouts involved in those workouts. Um, and then Fridays, since I go five days, Fridays are literally full body Fridays. So I'm doing a little bit of everything and killing my whole body. But we've been feeling good. We've been looking good. I've been seeing a lot more, um, a lot of difference. A lot of difference. That doesn't sound like proper English. I've been seeing some differences <laughs> in my body, especially like right here. Like this area has really slimmed down a lot. Same with like my back. So I have like two rolls right here and then i have like this end this indent right here the indent is becoming less of an indent which we love same with the rolls they're coming they're becoming a little bit you know softer not very rolly so we're loving that yeah so i'm gonna finish my pre-workout gonna put my shoes on and we're gonna head out Get some water
right, so the day in the life that I was trying to film <laughs> did not happen. Um, what did I even try to film yesterday? Or like the last clips? Um, I think it was just me at the gym was like the last clips that you guys saw. But I had mentioned, let's see what time is it? Okay. Um, I had mentioned that I was going to see a psychiatrist. At least I think I mentioned it. Um, so I did have that appointment yesterday. Um, after I had that appointment, the day just kind of like fell off and I forgot that I was vlogging. And it was also so hot yesterday, so I was like sweating, dying. Um, but I went and saw the psychiatrist yesterday. Um, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> um, definitely didn't go how I wanted it to go, but it still went better than I expected, I guess. Um, instead of prescribing me Adderall like I wanted her to and like I've had in the past, um, she told me like, you know, Adderall is really not that good for you. Like it's really bad for your heart and how I'm young. She doesn't want me to have heart issues later in life and stuff like that. So, okay, I respect that, blah, blah, blah. So she wants to try out this other medication and then um, see if that works. And if not, there's other medications, obviously. Um, but then she also wants me to get a full psychological test, which those are like four to five hours long. <laughs> And I don't know if they do them like in one session or if they're broken up to like four different appointments or or what. But luckily, they like referred me out to people. Um, so I called one place yesterday and they're able to get me in at the end of the month, which is so surprising because she was saying how like it might take months, which I get because so many places like doctors, medical offices, you know, all these places are so backed up all the time and like you can't get an appointment for like months. Like I've been trying to find um, a primary care doctor and um, like a psychiatrist and a therapist and like every time I call it's like, oh, we don't have an appointment until October. Oh, we're not taking new appointments right now or the number just straight up doesn't work. <laughs> So, so it's been really frustrating in that aspect. I really lucked out with the psychiatrist though because I called, let's see what's today, Thursday. I called on Tuesday. So I was on psychology today looking at a bunch of um, psychiatrists, called a bunch. Um, a lot of places, like I said, weren't, um, didn't have appointments for like two months and like crazy stuff. And I called her office and she literally had an appointment the next day, which is so crazy. Um, but I lucked out because she had literally just opened her book. So like, I'm not saying I was the first person to call, but like I got really lucky that I called and I was able to get an appointment the next day. So that worked out great. Um, I get to see her again next week because she's also the therapist for the office. Um, I'm assuming like it's a newer place and they're still looking for therapists. So right now she's just doing both roles, which is pretty cool because if you're already seeing me for one thing, might as well just see me for the other thing so we can just put two and two together. So I'm gonna see her as my therapist. I don't know how long she can be my therapist for or how that works, but that works for me because like I said, finding a therapist and finding a psychiatrist is so exhausting. It's like you're already dealing mentally with your own issues and like now you have to go and deal with trying to find somebody trying to call all these offices ask if they have availability when it is blah 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 just for them to be like oh we don't have anything for two months and it's like mental health wise so much can happen in two months so it's like maybe on this day like i'm doing really good but like catch me a few days later or like next week and i'm gonna be the complete opposite because that's just how mental health is but right now doing good um i haven't ta started taking that medication yet because walgreens um it's like not ready which i i don't understand how the pharmacy works sometimes it's like the medication is there all you have to do is put it in another bottle and slap a sticker on it <laughs> Like I know their job is probably like, you know, there's so many other steps to it But like thinking about it like why does it always take so long for like them to fill your orders? And, like why are they always backed up and like I know there's not a lot of people that like work in the pharmacy So like maybe that's why they have too many, you know, like the ratio is off But yeah, so hopefully they'll call me today so I can start taking it tomorrow um, If not like whatever um, but what time is it? All right, it's about 10.15. I have a dentist appointment at 11. 
um, I have cavities so I need to get my cavities filled which is so fun if you don't know I've had cavities my whole entire life and I've just come to accept that I'm cavity prone and you know thanks to my genetics for making me this way because cavities can be genetic um, but yeah so I have to go get those filled and then probably not going to do anything the rest of the day because my mouth is going to be numb like I had to get cavity filled last week too and my mouth was numb like the whole day like my appointment ended around like 10 10 30 and I don't think my mouth like I could feel my mouth again until like four or like three so it takes a while to wear off <laughs> so we'll see um how long it lasts this time but I'll probably just do some reading um I've been reading what am I reading let me get the book okay I've been reading um just for the summer by Abby Jimenez um I'm almost halfway ish through I'm on page 191 it's pretty good um I don't know if I mentioned this I feel like I'm a broken record because I really don't know what I what I vlog um but I have not read like a true romance book um as an adult like growing up and like in middle school you know like I read romance books um but um as an adult I have not like I've read romanticy like Akatar, but like not like a set in stone like this is a romance book um so I wanted to read this one especially I mean it's summertime I've been seeing all about it on TikTok and then once I finished um Air of Fire because I finished Air of Fire from the Throne of Glass series on my flight to California a couple weeks ago so I brought this book with me because I let I knew I was going to finish Air of Fire and I was like okay this is the perfect time to start this book it's not too long it's just one book and you're done um just to give me a little bit of a break because then I have the next four books the last four books in the Throne of Glass series to finish and those are like the most intense because you have Queen of Shadows and then you have Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms and those are the tandem read so you read those together and then you have Kingdom of Ash and that's the last book and it's basically a thousand pages so it's a lot to read so I figured I'd give myself a small break and read this book and so far it's pretty good um I wouldn't say it's cheesy but like it's a romance like you know what do you expect um I will say it's pretty funny I wasn't expecting it to actually be funny but it's like really funny um I wasn't gonna tab it I don't know if you can see those but I love annotating and tabbing and once I start reading I was like I can't not tab it so I've been tabbing it a little bit I've just been um annotating like anything that I think is like a good quote because it does talk um about mental health and like trauma a lot in this book so like there's some good things going on and then anything that's funny because like I said this book is pretty funny and then it is a romance book so anything that I think is like cute sweet like lovey dovey stuff and then again we're dealing with mental health and trauma so I have a little tab for anything that's sad <laughs> um but yeah so and then I like that it switches I don't know if all I don't think all romance books are like this but it switches um POVs so like one book is the girl and then or not book one chapter is the girl and like one chapter is the boy so it'll say like Emma or it'll say Justin and then it's like from their point of view and they're talking in that chapter so I really like that because I really love a book that has different point of views um, I feel like it really keeps you engaged in what's going on um, but yeah I'm loving it so far like I said I'm about halfway through I have my little butter <laughs> bookmark and then my annotating tabs um, I just get these off of Amazon they come in like a huge pack for like $10 um, but yeah, so I'll probably come back from my dentist appointment, either take a nap, depending on how I feel, and then um, read my book. And it's a pretty rainy day, so hopefully it'll rain and like be the moment that I need it to be so I can read. All right, it is day one of the medicine. My doctor, or doctor? Yeah, they're technically doctors, right? Yeah. <laughs> So 
So, um, with this medicine, they advise you to eat before you take it because it could make you nauseous. But I'm also supposed to take it in the morning and I don't eat breakfast first thing in the morning, especially before the gym. I don't like to eat before the gym, but we're going to just have a piece of bread so that I don't feel nauseous because being nauseous is probably the worst thing ever. So we're going to have a slice of toast then we're going to take our medicine and we're going to hope for the best because <laughs> I'm a little nervous because, you know, they have to give you... We have to tell you about the side effects of medicines and you know sometimes medicines can have very drastic side effects such as like wanting to end your life so i've never felt that way so knowing that a medicine could make me feel that way is a little scary um but we're gonna do it we're gonna be okay because as the doctor said if i feel that way i can stop taking the medicine so we're gonna do that. Um, also getting ready for the gym. This is not my gym shirt. I just got done taking Willow outside. I don't like to walk around outside like this if I'm just walking Willow because people are creeps, specifically men. All right, but today should be more exciting because let's see, after I go to the gym, I need to go do blood work for my psychiatrist. Um, and then I want to go to Five Below because I saw this TikTok and they have like super cute stuff right now, specifically this croissant like dish like that has a lid to it, like to just like put trinkets or like jewelry or something in. And if you know me, you know I love croissants. <laughs> so I really want that dish. Like it's so cute. So we're going to go to Five Below. Hopefully we don't have to go to more than one. Um, and then I'm getting my nails done at three, which my nails look great. So this is my first time um, getting Gel X. I got them three weeks ago. They look amazing still. Like they look great. They're outgrown. Definitely. But like not too bad. Like I could go another week if I wanted to, but I have a few things to do this weekend. <laughs> and i'm tired of this color so three weeks perfect none of them broke none of them have fallen off none of them are loose and i feel like i'm a pretty rough person with my hands especially like working out and going to the gym so the fact that they you know are still going strong i think i'll keep doing gel x they're so much better than acrylic too like not even for the health of your nails um but like they're so much stronger and like they look like your real nails. You know, like sometimes if you get acrylic, if you have them before and like you put your hand to the side, they kind of like lump up, especially if the person doesn't make them like super thin. All right, we're gonna put some butter on our toast just in case you didn't know how to make a piece of toast. Here I am. Butter. all right toast i don't even know if i should take my pre-workout today if i'm gonna take this medicine she didn't say i couldn't but just because it's the first day i won't do the pre-workout i'll be fine i recently not recently that's a lie <laughs> like maybe two months ago maybe longer um i got this whiteboard um calendar that's magnetic and it sticks to your fridge i'm not going to show you a close-up because it does have a bunch of my appointments on it um but i got it off amazon and it's like the best thing ever All right, your girl is booked and busy. <laughs> Not really, but I have like three appointments for the rest of the month that I needed to add to my calendar. Okay, look how great this lighting is right now. 
All right, so um, I don't even know what I vlogged today. Went to the gym. I got my nails done. They're like I got they're orange, but I got them with like a pink chrome on them. I can't tell if you can see the chrome. You probably can. But I love them. They're so cute. I figured I'd get like an out there color because these will be my last um, summer nails because these are Gel X and they've lasted me like exactly three weeks. I could have gone longer, but um, I hate I was over the other color. <laughs> um, but these will last me up until I start school again and then I'll get something um a little bit more subtle because i don't know if i'll be going as often to get my nails done um but yeah thought this would be fun um but i did go to five below so i went at first i went like right after but or like, went like right away like i said but because there's that microsoft outage crowd strike or whatever going on today the five below that i initially went to was like um their systems were down because of the outage so then later, once I got my nails done, my brother and I went to Shake Shack um, after I got my nails done. And then I went to the Five Below that was close to Shake Shack. Um, but I also got a few other things. So I got the main thing that I wanted. <laughs> it's literally this croissant trinket jar. It's so freaking cute. I don't even think I'll put anything in it, but like just have it as decor. Like I just think it's so adorable. And then I got this poster from my classroom. My brother said it was a good idea, um, but it's from the new um, Inside Out movie. And it just, it's the anxiety um, emotion or it's anxiety. That's the emotion. And it just says, I'm fine at the bottom. And I just thought it was like cute to put in because, um, so like for my curriculum or whatever, like we show the first Inside Out for like the unit on emotions. And so now that the second movie came out, I'll be able to show that movie for our unit on like anxiety and depression, like all those things. So that will be fun. I got a few other things, of course, um, cause that's what Five Below is for. <laughs> now I really did not need this, but I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep it at home for myself or take it to school for kids to look at cause they're definitely not gonna touch it unless I say they can. But it's this bucket of fried chicken, but they are, erasers <laughs> so you have like i don't know i think this is like a flat or maybe a tender and then you have a drumstick <laughs> and then you have a wing so <laughs> i just thought this was so cute and it comes in like this bucket of fried chicken that looks like um like from kfc so i don't know i think i might take this to school and just have it on my desk like this and kids are gonna be like what is that um and then I went overboard with the stickers. So I love to put stickers in my journal. And I, how many did I get? Three, four, five. I got six different stickers. So first one, these are scratch and sniff and they have like sodas on them. I thought they were the cutest thing ever. Try not to get the glare. I thought they were so cute. Let's fix this. There we go. So there's those. Oh, here's the back of them. Super cute. And then these other ones are just like, I don't know. This is what they look like. Super cute though. It wants to focus on the stickers. And then the other sheet. And then these other ones, super cute. These ones are like more foody ones. And I have like flowers on the back. And then the last ones I got are all letters. They're kind of like bubble letters. So I just got two of each because only one sheet comes in the pack. And I'm just like, what if you need more than one? Wait, I should have got more. Cause like some words have <laughs> more than two of the same letters. Okay, whatever. Two of these, they just look like that they're colorful and then these ones remind me of like balloons like the balloon letters so i got two of these and then i got two more things i got this mini <laughs> crate i always think the crates are so cute but i don't have anything for this specific crate but i got it because it was mini so i thought that was cute and then 
these strawberry pencils that smell like strawberries so yeah that is everything that i got from five below everything was so exciting they had some really good stuff in there for right now though i'm just so excited about my croissant here it is <laughs> it's so cute like it's just a little croissant I wish it laid flat a little more. Like the lid doesn't really lay flat, but like it was $5, what am I gonna expect? But yeah, it's so freaking adorable. But yeah, so that's everything that I got. Um, this lighting is amazing. Um, what am I gonna do for the rest of the night? I am gonna go out tonight with a friend. So that will be fun. Um, but that's not until later. Well, what time is it? 7.15. I think we're going to go around like 8.30, 9 o'clock. So we'll see what that's going to be like. <laughs> Thank you.